welcome to the second edition of Tobium TV from the heart and soul of Swiss watchmaking. Today's issue will feature the 27th SEH Arch Salon International Haute Orangerie exhibition in Geneva. 2016 was a very tough year for the Swiss watch industry. The export rate declined 10%, while in the luxury segment the decline was 15%. And the problems are homemade. We see overcapacity throughout the entire industry. And the, the dealers have been flooded with watches. Retailer stocks are full. The watch companies have sold their products into the stores, but the shops could not sell out and now sometimes have to sell such watches through great market channels. They are forces to do so in order to create liquidity to purchase new watch collection. Sometimes watches are even bought back from uh, the manufacturers uh, to raise melt the uh, precious metal. This situation is reminiscent of the big quartz crisis of the 1960s and 70s. All right, welcome to the new watch season. Traditionally, the season is being kicked off with the SEHH in Geneva. For this exhibition 2017 is a year of transition, a year of somewhat in between. The organization of the SEH Arch, the Fondation de la Haute Orangerie, also had to adapt to and forementioned the crisis. So far, only nine independent manufacturers were allowed to participate, but the Carré de Orangerie was first enlarged in 2017. This year, 13 small manufacturers took place. And the overall number of the exhibitors grow to 30, marking a new record for the show. This year, two uh, iconic brands, Gerard Perico and Ulysse Nadu, relocated from Basel to SEA Judge. Richemont uh, traditionally participated with its brands Alain Meonzoni, Pomme Mercier, Cartier, IWC, Jäger Le Coulter, Mont Blanc, Panerai, uh, Piaget, Roger Dubuis, Vachel Constantin, and Van Cleef and Apple. Not belonging to the Richemont group, but also present uh, were Odima Piquet, Parmigiani, Greubel Forsey, and Richard Milo. But let me quickly draw your attention on some other highly important uh, news for the year 2017. From this year on, watchmakers who wish to carry the important Swiss made label now have to produce 60% of the components in Switzerland compared to the 50% in previous year. The saloon is likely to reveal how the brands will implement new, this new requirement. SEH uh, participants H. Moser on C has already announced that it will not no longer carry the label. Reason being that H. Moser already used 95% of Swiss components in their watch and anything below that weakens such a label. To them, 60% is not enough. In order to underline H. Moser's opinion on that topic, they created and displayed a truly unique timepiece. A tourbillon with a case made from Emmentaler cheese and cowhide straps, followed by a, a steep price tag of 1 million Swiss francs. Also new this year was the exhibition's public day. Given the difficult market situation, this is the right time, says Fabian Lupo, director of the FR Judge, the organizer of the show. 2,000 to 3,000 fans were able to visit the saloon on Friday. Tickets cost uh, uh, 70 Swiss francs. Certain exhibitors who did not welcome this innovation, such as Richard Mill, for example, 
only display their timepieces, but shut down their booths for the public days. A tour through the SEA judge quickly showed that the exhibitors returned to safe values without neglecting extraordinary individual pieces. Let's have a closer look at such safe values. Good value for money is Bommé Mercier main target. Arne Zimmermann, CEO of Bommé Mercier, stated that the company's goal is to produce best value for money. With its Clifton collection, the brand launches watches perfect for leisure and sports, especially designed for the gentle sportsman. Good value for money, a task perfectly achieved with uh, the Clifton collection. The Shira Perigo Laureato is back. Of course, there was an introduction last year as well. But this year, we see the GP is offering a full range of this. Uh, 9070 models. Sizes 34mm, 42mm and a tourbillon in a whopping 45mm have been pre presented to the public. Just have a look at my favorite, the 42mm Shirat Perigo Laureato. I won't lie to you, the price is a bit steep in my humble opinion, but this watch surely was one of the most welcome surprises at the show. That is of course if you are fancy those 90, 70 Cheryl Chanter like designs. The Laureato was introduced original in, in the mid 70s and was in Shira Perigo collection for a long time. Now, more than 40 years later, uh, GP is putting its focus back on this iconic watch. The 42mm version comes in a couple of variations, all of them equipped uh, with the GP01800 movement. This unique design was fully developed and produced in-house. You might remember that Tourbillon visited uh, Chira Perigo a couple of years ago and we reported about their manufacturing process in a detail, detailed article. Uh, a read worthwhile, especially if you are interested in uh, the technical side of things. You will find it in our Tourbillon magazine archives. At the occasion of last year's show, Cartier unveiled a new man's watch, the Drive. It receives a lot of price and attention. You will find more information on that topic in our blog TikTok. Uh, to me, the Drive represents what Cartier is all about. True elegance and beautiful mastering shapes. It's amazing how this brand can create an unconventional watch uh, that still looks brilliantly classy and understated. Still, for me, the Drive de Cartier always had one issue, its size. It was just a bit too thick and a bit too large. It seems our prayers have been answered uh, so as this year the drive has been redesigned and now comes with its best option so far. It's equipped with the extra flat caliber 430 MC. The drive in my view is the ideal uh, dress watch for gentlemen. A little over a week ago we published the news regarding the new Jäger Likurte Geophysic Tourbillon Universal Time at our Tourbillon magazine. Now we bring you our hands-on live pictures of one of the most impressive watches recently released by GLC. Created in 1985 by Jäger Likurte in honor of the international Geophysical year. The company relaunched the Ge Geophysic collection in 2015 and now added this exceptional timepiece to their mix. 
fitted with the case in platinum measuring uh, 43.5 uh, mm in diameter, the watch is not as heavy as expected from a platinum watch. Regardless of the addition of the tourbillon to the dial at 3 o'clock, uh, the dial remains easily readable. This watch just released at this year's show is the world's first world timer with flying tourbillon. Iris Nardens Innovation 2 is an extension of its groundbreaking predecessor. It once again showcases the company's technological mastery. It might as well perhaps afford a pass for the future of watchmaking thanks to, to the use of new materials. Ulis Nardis incorporates 10 major innovations into this concept, starting from dual constant escapement to 3D hands, for example. Uh, developments suffuse traditional uh, savoir-faire with modern technological advancement. The fifth masterpiece in the Pool Merit series combines the fusée and chain transmission with the tourbillon, a chronograph, a radrapper function and a perpetual calendar. It was in October 1994 when Lange und Söhne presented the first collection of the new era, including the tourbillon to Le, Le, Le Merit. Uh, this was the first great trot wristwatch with a tourbillon and a fusée and chain transmission. Uh, it was followed in 2005 by a model which unified these two construction. It was named the Turbograph Pole Merit. This complication was followed by a chronograph uh, with Rattrappe function. In 2017, Alain Söhne added a fifth complication called the Tourbiograph Perpetual Pouple Merit, displaying a perpetual calendar. This one of a kind timepiece is an ode to astronomy. It houses 23 complications on both front and back. This includes a sidereal time, moon phase, tide level as well as an Earth-Moon-Sun alignment, which are even shown three-dimensionally. Where Richard Mill really excels is in his presentation of only one novelty for the SCR charge. 75 pieces will be made of the lightest ever manufactured chronograph and it will be sold for 1,085,000 euros. One novelty only, the RM5003 Tourbillon Split Seconds Chronograph Ultra Light McLaren F1, and that's it. Richard Mill, you have my utmost respect. Only you can do this. Mill was talk of the town in Geneva. Roger Duboisi, Jean Marc Pontro, lectured me on the topic clever marketing. Pirelli partnered with the brand, but the logo is nowhere to be seen on the dial. The two brands teamed up to create the new and blue Exalibur Spider Pirelli with double flying tobium in a limited series of just eight pieces. In addition of this, to these colorful and uh, unusual timepieces, Roger Dubuis has confirmed that it will be continued to release new watches from the, from the Exalibu collection throughout 2019. So, what is so special about the limited edition Exalibu Spider Puree? Let's take a look. The case measured 47 mm and is made of black DLC coated titanium with blue rubber essence. The retail price of this watch is 280,000 Swiss francs at the time of publication. It will be a limited edition of eight pieces and a 
as bonus, owners will receive an invitation to a two-day whip motorsports event as guest of Pirelli. And last but not least, some real news exclusively for Tobion TV viewer. The company CEO informed me of the record about a new partnership with Lamborghini. It's amazing. Panerai's new offering is a showcase of carbon fiber unlimited potential. Only 50 pieces will be produced at a price of 50,000 euro. The new cal caliber uh, P3001C has bridges and main plates made from a tantalium based ceramic which contains a high percentage of carbon, making lubrication of the gear train pivots unnecessary. And additionally, the lever and escapement wheel are made of a DLC coated silicone, eliminating the need for oil on the escape wheel teeth. To top it off, the brand offers a 50 years guarantee. Now, that's what I call customer service. Bravo Angelo Bonatti, CEO of Vanderai. IWC introduced a complete relaunch of the 70s icon, the Da Vinci line. This without losing touch with the model's history. The masterpiece of the line is the Tubion with retro guard date and a chronograph function within a special red gold case. The aesthetics uh, still remains clean with clear readability courtesy of very organized and systematic subtile placements. The new crowning glory in Groy before the stable is the Grand Sonar. It took 11 years of unrelenting uh, pursuit of excellence to create it. The movement is made out of almost a thousand individual parts. What is even more impressive is that Groibel Force managed to fit all these parts in a case of only 43.5 mm in diameter and 16.13 mm thickness. To ensure exclusivity, only 5 to 8 pieces uh, will be produced annually. Odima Piges uh, witnessed uh, the popularity of its fiber and color chronograph last year and decided to splash the uh, colorful let onto its non-chronograph version as well. The Royal Oak Offshore Diver, a 42mm stainless steel case timepiece, is now available in white, dark blue, acid yellow, lime green and bright orange. Opting for a more classic and minimalistic approach, the Parmigiani Tori chronometer shows that simplicity is a trend that will never go away. This quick inspired timepiece features white or red gold case, an opaline uh, dial in smooth or textured version, as well as javelin hands that attract the eye. More synonymous with art and music, Montblanc is taking a detour in 2017 with the unveiling of new sports-inspired models in the Timeway Walker collection. A drawing on the rich racing heritage of its Minerva manufacturing division, Montblanc's new chronograph timepieces are a combination of technical ingenuity, masculinity, performance and style. The standout timepiece amongst the new unveilings is the Rally Time Counter Limited Edition 100, not only because of its bigger uh, 50 mm case, but also its ability to be converted quickly into a pocket watch.
Cleave and Apples unveils its first extraordinary object, the Automat Phi Phi Ondin. The fruit of long years' works and an intense collaboration with automation maker François Chuno. The project also owes its existence to the savoir faire of the numerous craftsmen who have taken part in its creation. Bringing together jewelry and watchmaking tradition, this unique piece marks a new chapter for the company in its attempt to blend jewelry with portable table clocks. This bejeweled tableau comes to life with infinite uh, delicacy and also tells the time. To celebrate the 60th anniversary of Altiplano, the watchmaker released two new models in the collection, a hand winding and a self winding model before adding new timepieces later this year. Both carry the brand's signature cross on the dial, a feature which was first incorporated in the Caliber 9P and 12P models. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this issue of Tobion TV. You will find more information in our Tobion print magazine, which you can order directly from us. Please also visit our blog TikTok. Thank you for your attention. Have a beautiful day or night and auf Wiedersehen.